Hello and welcome back to the lesson 32 in the creation of our school management system using Microsoft Excel and Word without any stress and without any challenge. So please, if you are new to the channel, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. You turn on the notification bell for all so that when we upload a new video, you'll be able to receive the notification. All right. So without wasting much time, let's just dive into this lesson and begin to do what we call cell referencing in programming all right so what that simply means is that we want to refer all the the settings that we have done here all the formulas that we have inserted at the down here at the bottom here to a particular sheet somewhere so that all the calculations that will be done in the system will appear on that sheet as well and that sheet is going to be the the student emis data table the student emis data sheet here so all the calculations that will be done in the system must appear here as well and it must appear inside this table here as well without any problem so let's quickly start doing that so let's go back to the student details table here like this so what we are going to do is that we are going to open this particular one the student emis table so we are starting from kg1 so let's just insert our equal to sign here like this then we go to the student detail table like this the, the student details sheet here so let's just click on this one here the mail there then you press enter so we can see the zero appearing here okay so let's quickly come to the female let's insert our equal to sign then we go to the student detail sheet then we select female so immediately we hit enter then it will take us back to this particular sheet here so we can see the zero appearing here okay so we want to get the the, the, the total number of students in this particular class they want to see that in appearing here so let's just insert our equal to sign like this let's go to the student detail sheet here we click on the total press enter then we have the zero here appearing without any problem all right so we are going to kg2 to do the same thing please make sure that you watch the video from the beginning to the end so that you understand everything so let's come to the kg2 mill here select it then we hit enter so we have the the calculations appearing at the top there then we come to the female press your equal to sign then we go to the student detail sheet then we come to uh, this side here so when we click on uh, that particular enter key then we should be able to have the zero here so we are going to the total the kg2 total so we come to the total here like this you click on it you press enter we should be able to have it there please take this very serious pay attention to this so that it will not confuse you all right so we are moving to basic one so let's just insert our equal to sign let's go back to the student detail sheet there then we uh, select the basic one mill here so this is the basic one mill select it you hit enter then we have the zero there so let's go to the female then let's go back to the student detail sheet then we select the female here like this then you hit enter we have it so let's go to basic one total instead to equal to sign let's go back to the student detail sheet here so this is the basic one total like that you hit enter then we have it there so we are moving to basic two so your equal to sign back to the student detail sheet select the male hit enter we have it there so female for basic two like this you go back to the student detail uh, sheet then we select female you hit enter we have it there total for basic two like that you enter a equal to sign go back to the student detail sheet then we click on the total here like this we hit enter good so we have them there up and running so we are now moving to basic three so your equal to sign let's go back to the student detail sheet we select the male here hit enter we have it there so basic three female go back to the student detail sheet like this 
you have the female here then hit enter we have it there now the total you're equal to sign like that back to the student detail sheet then we have our total here like that you hit enter we should be able to see it there so we are moving to uh, basic four we are moving to basic four here so let's select the basic four male like this you insert your equal to sign then we come to the student uh, detail sheet there so let's search for basic four so this is basic four good so we select the male here enter we have it so let's quickly do that for the female insert your equal to sign let's go back to the student detail sheet basic four like this we enter we have it there so basic four total insert your equal to sign like that we go back to the student detail sheet please make sure that you you follow the steps that uh, we are using here so you enter like that you have it so basic five instead you're equal to sign we go to the student detail sheet here so basic five the male we have it there then basic five female equal to sign go back to the student detail sheet like this so you have the female here you enter you get it there now the total insert your equal to sign as well then you come to the total here like this you hit enter then we have it there so we are moving to basic six we are moving to basic six so we insert our equal to sign like that then we go to the student detail sheet there so let's quickly search for the basic six mil like this we get it there then we are moving to the basic six female like this so we search for that one like this we get it there so the total insert your equal to sign then we go back to the student detail table or the student detail sheet here so we select the total like this so we should be able to get that in there then we are moving to basic seven we are moving to basic seven so you insert your equal to sign like this you come back to the student detail sheet here so let's quickly search for basic seven here good so we have it here so let's just select the mail here hit enter so we have the zero at the top here so basic seven female so let's quickly insert our equal to sign then we come to this side here hit enter then we have it so basic seven total you insert your equal to sign like this then we come to this side like this to hit enter then we have it now let's move to basic nine sorry let's move to basic eight so we insert our equal to sign like that uh, then we come to uh, this one here like this we select the male then we are good to go basic eight female basic eight female then we come back to this side here we select it like this to press the enter key so we are going for the basic eight total so let's quickly go back to the student detail sheet <laughs> uh, please make sure that you follow these procedures so that you know uh, confuse yourself okay so we go to this one then we go back to the student detail sheet here again that is basic nine that is basic nine so we select it like this we hit enter then we have the male there so basic nine female so we come to the student detail sheet here then we select the female here you hit enter then you get it so basic nine total like this so you you you, you insert your equal to sign so you insert your equal to sign we go back to the student uh detail sheet here so let's select the total here like this we hit enter so we have it now the male total you insert your equal to sign then we go back to the student uh, detail sheet here select the male total hit enter we have it there then we go back to the female total your equal to sign back to the student detail sheet we hit it like this we go we get it there then the grand total your equal to sign then back to the student detail sheet here 
select it hit enter so we get all there without any stress and without any problem so please don't forget to save your work so let's just press ctrl s on our keyboard to save our work so let's click on ok so we are done uh, saving our work like joke like play all right so let's just try to enter something into this system and let's see how the system will respond so let's just go back to the student detail uh, sheet here let's scroll to the top then let's enter something and let's see how the system will calculate it. so admission number one then the name let's just write something kofi kofi oko like that then the class the class is supposed to be kg one like this then the gender male like this date of birth let's just enter some random dates like this 20 uh, blah 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 so 2009 like this date of admission uh, 13th january uh, 2024 like that admission fee thousand uh, guardian name let's just enter something um, let's quickly do with this one address let's just enter something contact just some random numbers so let's just hit enter then let's go back to the student MS table and let's see what is going to happen okay so we can see something here so we entered that detail for kg1 so you can see that we have one male student appearing here inside this system so it's just working like some magic so let's go to the grand total and let's see the number of students that we have appearing in our system so good so male total one the grand total one so it means the system is working without any stress and without any problem so let's quickly do some formatting here let's select this particular one then let's change the the font style to times new roman times new roman like this then we bold it good then we center everything here so this particular one is also having a shape now so let's just press ctrl s on our keyboard to save our work good so we have it up and running there now the next thing that we are going to do is to insert some formulas we we want to refer this particular headings here to this particular emis data table here we want to refer all the calculations here to this emis data table so that it can be available in word it can be visible in microsoft word for printing so that is what we are going to do in our next lesson so till our next lesson i say thank you very much for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to turn on the notification bell for all don't forget to share this video with your friends don't forget to drop your comment in the comment section and don't also forget to check the description of this video for more of our videos on how to design a school management system how to create a school management system using microsoft excel and web so thank you very much let's meet in the next lesson that is going to be lesson 33 so thank you very much let's meet in that interesting lesson bye bye